Yes. And fellow modelers, today I have you something uh, different and uh, a technique that I use to to see how uh, to paint uh, uh, bases, resin bases that already uh, have all the uh, details in place. Uh, so you have to paint all together. Uh, maybe you remember that uh, this is um, one uh, resin base from uh, Black Dog. Uh, it's uh, 135 scale and um, it depicts something uh, in trench warfare. Uh, from what I can see, you can use it also for World War II, uh, but it's intended for World War I. Uh, it's general use trench, it's very good. Uh, uh, sculpted every 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 tiny detail. Also, this is a, a rebuild of some part of the trench, and uh, has been sculpted from uh, by Martin Weitzek, a master one, a master modeler. So, uh, what I have done uh, previously, if you have seen, I make a base uh, with a dough underneath. I glue plastic cards. I fill any gaps, uh, I primed with grey, then uh, I painted black and I airbrush uh, white. Uh, it was very uh, very light, it was very bright, so what I did, um, I insist in the crevices and the, the uh, hidden places with black using a black primer from uh, from life color it's actually a dark gray but doing the the job and the flat brush or a, another something like that but a thick one and uh, I dilute it with a lot of water I pass all the base so why because to go in the places uh, with black where my brush later will not reach <laughs> and see how this will go after before the painting of the actual colors. What I will do here, I, I will use the Hepburn ropes from uh, Life Color. This is very good because I need a, a lot of different uh, hues for the sandbags and uh, the weather uh, wood the weather wood for the um, the wooden parts of the trench and of course a lot a lot of liquid pigments because this is really an innovative uh, an innovative um, product uh, I like it very much to use it uh, you can use it directly without uh, make a primer uh, paint, uh, base paint, but I prefer to have something uh, uh, as a base. And don't forget that now Life Color stocks a new line of uh, a new line of uh, brushes that is really very good uh, uh, price uh, for the quality that they they offer you. And you can try some and decide. Okay, uh, I will have you some more news later. Now it's in the stage of drying. See you later. And some more progress. Uh, I wanted to have also some wet look, the sandbags. And uh, I use also this hues but not uh, direct from the jar a little um, dry brushing so you, you can have a lot of different uh, hues on the sandbags uh, and also some of the weather wood uh, set for the wheel and uh, it's getting rather well, very quickly processed. Uh, sometimes before 
dry completely the, the darker hue, I made some dabbing with big, with a big, like that, in the highlight areas. So you have also, you can see, the light from here. Huh? Okay, it's getting rather well for me. And uh, I didn't spend more than half an hour. I don't think so, more than half an hour for the this, this uh, how we can say, uh, splash. <laughs> Paint splash. But uh, it's getting rather well. It's a, a trench warfare with a lot of mud, a lot of wet. So it's okay. This is not dried yet, so I don't know how this will look. But uh, sometimes everything it's very similar. So um, it's not very realistic to have some uh, exaggerations of um, the, the colors. So all must be unified at the end. Okay? Let's go for the next step later. After using my hair dryer, you see the result is getting very well. Uh, the thing is that um, life color liquid pigments uh, have a very good quality to smooth the, the transitions. So you get something like that and just 20 minutes, half an hour using. It's, I think for me it's very, very near. It's near to what I wanted to depict. Also, you see here the, um, the very good sculpting of Martin with the um, wooden blocks here, with the wooden planks. Uh, it's very good because you can just make some painting and the, the, the lines are here. And uh, you see that is almost ready with some touches finishing touches. Uh, you see also the, the highlighting, the, the overhead lighting is from here and this is, can be used for one or two figures, 135 scale. I think it's getting rather well. See you later. Some more progress. You can see that uh, with some little more work with highlights and uh, some dubbing on the upper surfaces where the the light is coming and uh, make some uh, uh, dubbing on the crates you get something that probably someone will stop here and use for a figure for a mortar or something like that. What do you think? Black dog is ready made resin bait base, so you just go for priming and uh, painting and you made your art on this using life color products. The sets are very useful for everyone because you get all together in one pack and for sandbags I think this is very useful together with the weather wood. Enjoy modeling my friends. Almost there. I also use some satin varnish in the hollows and to give a little wet look. Um, if you want to make it, it's I, I made it, I made it a little gold. Uh, I wanted to depict the um, the goldness of the trench wars. Uh, so I I use a lot of gold 
uh, sage but if you want to make it more warm uh, you can use this dark shade because it's okay it's a wood but it's a brown warm brown so you can dilute it enough and make it like a wash so uh, I think it's finished almost finished maybe some uh, finishing touches uh, here and there but I think it's uh, it's okay uh, and uh, this set along with the weather wood was perfect for my purpose so you see what you can succeed and this is the black all over that's it not more than one hour in total have a nice day